Good afternoon. I didn't hear the uh, group on the side over here. I'm going to do it again. Good afternoon. That's more like it. Um, I'm Brian Donahue. I'm the Director of Economic Development with the City of Portsmouth. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you this afternoon to the ribbon cutting for the expansion and new business location for JRF Ship Repairs. What a wonderful occasion to gather in celebration. I'd like to uh, recognize our elected and appointed officials that we have here with us in attendance today. Uh, Mayor Shannon Glover is present. We have Councilman Mark Hugel in attendance. And our Vice Chairman for the Portsmouth Port and Industrial Commission, uh, Ronald Peterman, is uh, in attendance as well today. Thank you all for joining us and for your continued support of the Portsmouth business community. I'd like to thank Juan and Natalia Famania for your commitment to the city of Portsmouth and your decision to locate and grow your business in our community. Your investment in the improvements that you've made here on George Washington Highway and the transformation of this facility and the jobs that it will support are extremely significant and important to our city. We really, really, truly value the impact uh, that you are making in our community. And I just have to say, what a transformation it has been. This is really beautiful, beautiful building. And I think when you step inside, uh, you will be more impressed with what you've seen uh, occur here. We often speak about Portsmouth's role in driving Virginia's blue economy and its businesses like JRF and many others that make Portsmouth essential in the Hampton Roads maritime industry. And the services that you provide on behalf of the U.S. Navy and its readiness and the security and economic stability of our nation are of equal importance. On behalf of the Portsmouth Economic Development Office, I'd like to congratulate the JRF family and the entire team for what you've accomplished here today. Thank you all so very much. And I would now like to introduce the Honorable Mayor Shannon Glover for remarks. Mayor. Thank you, Brian. And before we begin, or before I begin the comments in welcoming our newest family member to the city of Portsmouth, I'd like to ask the Bishop to come forward, please, and bless this event. Good afternoon. Let us go to the Lord in prayer and ask for his blessing. Father, we come before you in this special occasion. We acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge that you have blessed uh, this family to continue expanding their business. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for what they've done and what they're going to continue doing, Lord, as they grow their business also they can make an impact in this community and help the community as well. Father, and I ask, as the uh, Psalm says, Psalms 8, 118, 25, please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, please give us success. Lord, I ask for your success as your children continue doing the best practices of businesses and they continue doing uh, the work that they have done and continue expanding for your glory and your kingdom. I ask all of these in Jesus' name. Amen. Now for the good stuff. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Come on, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. I mean, this is a ribbon cutting. We got to get excited. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. All right. Now, now you got me jacked up. I'm ready now. I am honored to be with you here today to help celebrate a significant milestone in the continued growth and prosperity of one of Portsmouth's own, JRF Ship Repairs. Today is the ribbon cutting ceremony for JRF Ship Repairs, second location right here in the great city of Portsmouth, Virginia. And it really brings joy to my heart, y'all, to see an established 
Portsmouth business grow and continue to make a meaningful contribution to our community. So first and foremost, I would like to extend my personal thanks to the owners, Natalia and Juan Famania. We're, we are going to become good friends, folks. And also the leadership and the employees of J. RF Ship Repairs. Also want to thank Mr. Hernandez. Your decision to reinvest in our community reflects the confidence you have and in the economic potential skilled workforce that Portsmouth has to offer. Today's ceremony marks yet another step towards our shared goal to create a vibrant, thriving maritime industry right here in Portsmouth. JRF Ship Repairs has already established a relation, a reputation for excellence in the ship repair industry, and all of us are very proud to see you grow. The presence of JRF Ship Repairs in Portsmouth brings with it not only economic benefits, but also a promise of job opportunities for our city's residents. So, this new facility represents more than just a building. It symbolizes collaboration, progress, and the shared vision of a prosperous future for us all. The partnerships forged between the city and JRF Ship Repairs will undoubtedly contribute to the continued growth and development in the city of Portsmouth. Their presence at this second location not only enhances economic landscape, but it also underscores Portsmouth's strategic position in the maritime industry. To the leadership and dedicated team at JRF Ship Repair, and on behalf of a grateful city, council, and the citizens of Portsmouth, I extend my deepest gratitude for choosing Portsmouth. Together, we embark on a journey of shared success, mutual growth, and a winning partnership. May this partnership bring prosperity, opportunities, and a brighter future for our community. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next we have uh, Mr. Gary Green, Vice President of Operations with JRF. Uh, Mr. Green, if you would please come forward. Thank you, everyone. Happy for you guys to be here today on this ceremony. Um, I do have a speech. Um, it was actually a motivational speech. But when I saw the mayor and the councilman here, I have to change the speech. So, <laughs> so thank you. Um, good evening, everyone. Councilman Hagel, uh, distinguished mayor, Mr. Shannon Glover. Thank you for your presence and the CEOs, Rafa and Natalia. I wanna thank you for being here today. You could have been anywhere in the world today, but you chose to be here on the first day of March, 2024 in Portsmouth, Virginia. I learned how to say Portsmouth. I used to say Portsmouth, <laughs> but I got better with it. I'm here now. So I wanna tell you guys, when we think about JRF ship repairs, I want you to focus on the word ship. We forget about all the other things, but the ships in life bring great things to us. The partnership that we have with Portsmouth makes it great for the community and for the people around. The owners, when they drove by, the idea they had to have ownership of this building to bring jobs to the economy and to help the community Another thing we want to have is a relationship with Portsmouth and the cities around and the U.S. Navy, the greatest Navy in the world. And the last one I want to talk about is the greatest one, friendships. We forget friendships. Friendships are connected to your family and the people you meet every day. Take time to be kind to say the right words 
And I can tell you words mean a lot. If you look up the word love in a dictionary, it gives you a definition. But if you put emotion to it and say, I love you, it means something. So be careful what you say. Be mindful. We are winners here at GRF Ship Repairs. We get it done. I can tell you, we get it done. The ideas, something you can never kill. An idea have you here today. It has the clothing you wear, the cars you drive. You can kill someone, but you cannot kill an idea. An idea have you looking at this great building right now. It started with an idea. And by me telling you that the mind is the greatest thing we have, use it wisely. The mind separates you from everyone else. So use that mind and be kind. The way we use it in this world can tell a lot. And the last thing I would tell you is the greatest invention ever made to man. Everybody look around. I don't know. Is the mirror. Look in that mirror. The mirror tells you a lot about yourself. Take care of what you see in that mirror. Work on that ship like we build ships, we fix ships, but work on the other ships that I just told you and the world will be better in Portsmouth. And the last thing I'll say as a veteran, we wear red and red means remember everyone deployed. That's what red means. And I want to say to all the veterans and the military people, I salute you. Thank you. Wonderful remarks. Thank you, Gary. Um, it really is all about relationships and, and this is a relationship that's going to continue to grow in the city of Portsmouth. Uh, it's now my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, Mrs. Natalia Famania, uh, CEO, one of two CEOs here at JRF, uh, but her uh, husband Juan is, is a wise man, has asked his wife to, to speak on behalf of the company today. So. With that, um, Natalia, if you'd please come forward. I am not a good public speaker, but I'm going to do my best. <sighs> Everyone has their story in the beginning. For the most part, they all have consistent components. First is the, der the determination to change for the better. Second are the obstacles, the self-doubt, the naysayers, the rejection. And then the final component is the will. The will to wake up every day and go after in spite of all of that. Today's ceremony takes me back to 2015, sitting at my kitchen table prepping for my first audit. Because prior to, my husband put this notion in my head that he wanted to be a business owner and he wanted me to be his partner. Fast forward two years later, and we're renting our first office at 709 Mount Vernon Avenue to house our first corporate headquarters and then a year later renting a shop down the street. In 2019, we purchased our first two properties, 660 Mount Vernon and 727 Mount Vernon Avenue. Determined to stay deep rooted in Portsmouth, still having both headquarters and fabrication warehouse separate, it was growth and we were so proud of our accomplishment. This ceremony marks yet another accomplishment, a real dream come true. Not only a successful renovation of a once mini market, but JRF Ship Repairs is finally housing both headquarters and our shop under one roof. So many people to thank, not only for the completion of this tremendous project, but for the continued success of this company. A specific indi individual comes to mind for me Remember earlier I mentioned obstacles and the naysayers? This person went against the odds and met each of those obstacles and overcame them, making certain that our mantra, on time quality work, would be what the waterfront thought of when you mentioned JRF ship repairs. I'd like to present this award to the individual that sat at the kitchen table with me and assured me that I was more than capable of pulling this off. The person that wakes up every morning with the relentless will to keep us true to our mantra. 
His insatiable energy and spot on vision is the reason he is the person I turn to to remind me of our why. I present this award to my life partner, my business partner, and JRS very first employee, Juan Famania. Um, I have another award to present, and then Gary will follow up with our last one. Um, this one is very close to the heart, not only for myself, but uh, especially to Rafa, Juan. When we talk about the beginning of JRF, you know that we'll mention sleeping in the tanks. And for those who know, they know that that means we started our business off of closing TAOs, access cuts in the shell of the ship and they had to pull a 24-hour shift and they fell asleep, you know, falling asleep in the tank, that's what we call it. This man has been with us for the last nine years, the life of GRF. And I know there's been countless offers because his talent is, is unmatched. And I thank you and I know Rafa thanks you for always staying by our side and never leaving us and waking up every morning and making sure that JRF stays true to its mantra, this mantra, you know, on time quality work. Thank you for always being there and keeping us safe and straight. This award is for Caesar Cologne. And Gary, you'll do the last one for me. Since the boss wanted me to give out this last award, this goes to uh, someone who comes in very young, uh, young as my kids, um, comes to work every day, very professional. Um, and he has a lot of offers from a lot of companies also. He keeps the safety department the way it's supposed to be. Because as all we say, safety first. Doesn't matter how big of a job you do, if it's not safe, then we're not doing it right. Um, everybody to go home unsafe, to go back to their families on a given day, that's what we want to make money, we want to do everything, but we also want to be safe. And this award goes to, I call him Little Caesar. Caesar, come on forward. Alex Caesar. And I want to add something too. Uh, no, come on back. Come on back. Um, this gentleman right here, uh, about two weeks ago, actually saved the life of someone at the shipyard. He gave CPR for 22 minutes. 22 minutes. Um, the president of BAE Systems brought him up there and he uh, told him how great of a job he was exhausted. I don't think if if anybody has ever done CPR, two minutes is long. He did it for 22 minutes. And these are the people that we have in the company. He was dedicated. The guy had a couple broken ribs, but he's alive and he was thankful. So I just want to add that to Mr. Alex Cologne, Lil Caesar. Thank you. Okay, I got another one to give. I love giving. I feel like Santa Claus. Um, so today, I don't have the great speech. I didn't write it all down. But this award goes to, I would say, the mama. The matriarch. She's young, but she is Natalia. Natalia, we respect what you do. You are a fighter. When we can't fight, you keep us together. Um, you get us in the right mode. Sometimes it's tough, sometimes it's good. But when the boss lady calls, everybody jumps. Um, but we, we appreciate all that you do in the background sometimes. Sometimes you show up and I walk you to death on the ship 
and you tell me, Gary, I can't do this. <laughs> and she's exhausted, but she keeps us all in line um, and keeps all our books and everything in line from what we do. Natalia from Rafa, we wanna uh, give you this award from all of us to you. Well, I was going to say now the exciting part, but I think it's been pretty exciting since we started, right? Um, so what we're going to do now is actually cut the ribbon and officially open the doors to JRF Ship Repair's newest location here on George Washington Highway here in Portsmouth, Virginia. Oh, my God.